Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 14th to the 20th of June 2021. We have lots of signature tones going through the week. Nothing particularly happening day by day, but everything on its own wavelength, like a radio that's transmitting on many channels. So we begin the week with Mars moving into Leo. And this is going to be very tangible to really connect with our passion and our excitement and to center there in order that we can ignite our dreams, start to bring them into reality. So Mars will be in Leo for a few weeks and that's a really fiery masculine aspect that can get us fired up. Venus is in Cancer, so this is a perfect combination, a very feminine, watery aspect. And that would be our dreams, our soul, our intuition. So if we incubate our dreams in our imagination and the cells of our body with Venus in Cancer and then with Mars in Leo, actually ignite the spark and the passion behind it, then these two are working in a very divine combination. Most of the week is dominated though by the Saturn Uranus square. So when we go back to February, we had the first instalment of this and both planets were direct. So as we know going from 2020, which was very dominated by Capricorn energy, moving into 2021, very Uranian energy, we have Saturn, the ruler of Capricorn and the old ruler of Aquarius squaring off with Uranus the current and future ruler of Aquarius. So we're going from the old to the new. So Saturn is our structure and our backbone, but any external structures that have served their purpose and are no longer timely or relevant or supporting us have had to be broken down, especially with Pluto Saturn in Capricorn last year. So now we meet the next episode of Saturn Uranus, squared off and it's Saturn that's now retrograde, so we're going back to find our own structure, our own backbone, our own self-governance, and our own strength to stand on and for what supports us and to build from the inside out. And this is in Aquarius. So there's a timely aspect to this as Saturn being Kronos or Old Father Time. So like I say, things that aren't timely or relevant that aren't of this time, of this new vibration, will be shattered as we learn to stand strong and tall in our independent, unique expression there in Aquarius. Uranus, on the other hand, is still direct and in Taurus, which is a very heartfelt aspect. So with Taurus, the time is always now. And with Uranus, we're starting to feel the collective vibration, the energy rising the potency and the power of being in the heart and coming from the heart space. Uranus is unconditional, so we're getting rid of old conditioning structures and deciding for ourselves how we feel and how we put that into action. But a square aspect is a difficult one, so we will see a fault line happening here. And in the external we can see governing systems having to change and internally we're challenged to take up our own authenticity and authority. We need to reject what's unjust and confining and step back to knowing our inalienable rights as supreme beings. So to let go of the external, to reconnect with our dignity and sovereignty over the summer with this Saturn retrograde will bring some necessary clashes so that this can all work itself out, both outside and inside, but very much starting from the inside. So if you cast your consciousness back to early February, you'll be able to see where your own Saturn Uranus story began, taking you from the old to the new, firming you up on the inside. And at this particular juncture, it's all about accepting our freedom. So are you free yet? Can you start to feel what's coming? Can you feel the energies of the individual unique expression and the collective all coming together at the moment? And the final event of this, the sign off will be at the winter solstice. 
so we've got the time over the summer for some inner reconstruction to be done and to really anchor and realize these profound timely and changing energies also this week we have mercury retrograde and the question really is are you manifesting positive change for yourself because Mercury retrograde is written about very badly, but it's the chance to change our perception. And in Gemini, this will be the perception of you being able to transcend the human condition and connect to your higher consciousness. So it's quite a gentle one, this one, as it's working really deeply on the inside. We may need to change our mind, as I said last week, with new information flying through every day, but it's actually to get out of the mind. And if you'd like to look at our Transcending the Negative Mind video for Gemini, then there's some positive tips and tricks on to how you can do that. And the Cancerian episode will be coming out soon. So embracing Mercury Retrograde as a positive thing, the ability to change our mind, the ability to ingest new information and integrate it. But really in this very Aquarian new energy, the ability to transcend our mind and to transform ourselves, to really connect with our higher consciousness, to tune in to higher thought forms, to higher awareness, and to live from that space. So Mercury Retrograde will be taking us all the way through to the end of the month. And then one more aspect that we've got, by the end of the week, Jupiter is getting ready to turn retrograde. So Jupiter's just tipped into the etheric waters of Pisces for the last few weeks we started to have a taste of things to come in 2022 because Jupiter will be in Pisces for real at that time. But with a retrograde at the end of the week through to October, the gentle waves of realisation will be lapping on the shore of our awareness, reminding us that we're souls that came here to transcend the human condition and to radiate our sovereign, unique power. So, so many things all going on at once. Very difficult to break this down day by day. See how you feel, see what you're tuning into. See if you can feel the difference between Saturn and Mercury and how it's working in your inner universe. Keep things very open and simple as all of these bring fundamental and necessary change. So we're being tuned in to the Aquarian energies and a very bright future. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available online for readings, coaching and tuition. Very happy to have a free call consultation 